Memorize the multiplication table as fast as possible. You should have started this in second, third grade. And by fourth, fifth grade, you need to have this automatic. Why am I bringing this up? We are going all the way back to unit one, numbers one through five for MBT one, recognize concepts of place, value, and division. Now for the students, you are gone this next week due to the coronavirus. So that means today is March 15th, 2020. I am going to go over all of the questions way back that we did in July, August, and September. Okay. And why is this important? Well, the end of the year is wrapping up anyway. So it's time to review what we did all year. All right. And in fifth grade, you're going to see the place value table right away again. Okay. So we're going to show you some tricks, but every recording, I'm going to show this to you at least once. Okay. And I'll flip it over. That's what it looks like. You should be able to fill this out in three minutes. Let's just go over one. Okay. Let's go to the easiest one. Two of the easiest ones. Let's go over your multiplications of five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Notice how it goes down this way and then it goes across this way. So if I take my highlighter and I highlight it, start with the easy ones first, okay? So if I'm ever having trouble with my times tables, I will always go back and I can see that five times five is 25. All right, let's get to the problems. Math grade four, unit one, 2019, 2020. Practice problems, MBT one, numbers one through five. Select the statement that explains how the values, keyword values of the numbers 5,400 and 54,000 are different. Okay, important words, values, statement, numbers. Now, there are a lot of different tricks that we can use to solve these problems in different ways, but I am going to start off drawing out the place value table, which all of you need to memorize. It should have been memorized by now. Uh, if we're looking at the problems, notice how it's consistent times, times, times. 54,000 is one times as large as 5,400, 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. I will prove it over here. So first off, let's make sure that I can squeeze it in. I'm going to go like this. This is the ones place. I'll denote it for O for once. So practice drawing this out. This is the tens place. I'm gonna do it for tens. The reason why I'm curving it at the top is so I can actually write it in there. Hundreds. In fact, I'll put it right here so you guys can see it. When we get fast, O stands for ones. T stands for tens. H stands for hundreds. Let's just keep going. And then there's the comma there. Okay, don't forget that. Let's just keep going down the line. So say it with me. Ones, tens, hundreds. You started this back in first, second grade. Ones, tens, hundreds. We are going to take our two numbers and put them in there to find out how they are different. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Thousands will be TH. Let's keep going. So I'm doing it one piece at a time. Take your time. This is now 10 thousands. See how it's following this pattern? Tens, hundreds, tens, hundreds. 10 thousands, we're going to say T, TH. T, TH. Okay. Let's keep going. Next up, if I go ones, tens, hundreds, tens, hundreds, this is going to be hundred thousands. Hundred thousands. And then I put a comma there, put a comma there. Now in fourth grade, you're expected to go to millions. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. For most of these problems in unit one, unit two, 
even some in unit three, four, and five, you can use the place value chart to help you solve them. It will make life so much easier, but you need to memorize it. Okay. Millions will stand for M. And then you go to 10 millions, 100 millions. We're just going to stop right here. Now, I'm going to take this first number, 5400. There are one, two, three, four digits. One, two, three, four digits. So I'm going to start with the zero first. I'm going to put it in the ones place. I'm going to draw a line across to make my notes detailed and organized. One, zero, one, zero. Two zeros. Notice how I'm underlining the zero. One digit can explain a lot. Okay? You'll see that in a moment. After the zeros comes a four and comes a five. Now, when I have students struggle on this, it's just because they rush through it. They don't align the numbers. They don't write out the place value table. Okay? This is on six minutes. Once you have this memorized, you can do this super fast and just do it abbreviated like this. O T H T H T T H H T H M. Say it with me one more time. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So we have 5,400. I'm going to put the comma in there. Now they didn't put commas in there, they just didn't do it. Next number, notice how I have one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. And then I have four and the five. Four and the five. Okay, now we need to see how they are different. They are only different by one place. Notice that? They are only different by 54,000 has one extra zero. I'm going to put it in orange. So here's how the place value table works. Every time you move over one, it's times 10, okay? When I go over again, it's times 10. When I go over again, it's times 10, okay? When I move over again, it's times 10, okay? That means you are adding a zero every single time, all right? The only difference between these two numbers, notice how this one has three zeros, this one has two, so if I stack them, just like that, the difference is 10 times. That's it. 10 times. See that? We just went over one more place. All we did was add a zero, which means you would take 5,400 times 10. Let's see that. Let's prove it. If I take any number times 10, our 10's trick is I just add a zero. 5,400 times 10, I just add a zero. 5,400 and I add that zero, okay? So therefore, I know 54,000 is 10 times as large as 5,400. I've shown it here on the place value chart and I've shown it right over here, okay? See that? It's just one more zero. So all I do is add one more zero. Now, if it was a hundred times, okay, then I would have to change it. All right. I would have to add another zero. See how there's two zeros here? There's no zeros here. And then there's three zeros here. So if I said 5,400 is 1,000 times as small as 54,000, we're talking the difference of three more zeros, okay? See the keyword here, large, 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 all right? Now, when you're saying small, you're dividing. I'm gonna save this one for another lesson, okay? Let's just focus on as large. If it was 100 times, okay, we would need to take away one of those zeros, so it'd be 540, all right? So, memorize the place value chart, and then hopefully right away you clearly see, oh, it's just one place over which means it's times 10. If it was two places over, it would be times 10 times 10, which is 100, all right? These takes a lot of practice. We will practice these a lot, okay? There it is, that's 10 minutes. Way back to July, 
All right, so there we are. Have fun, take all those notes, take your time, make sure you read, read books, do imagine math, imagine learning reading, achieve 3000, read some more books, watch CNN student news, and go play outside. Bye.